Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at some basic animation features in Photoshop and also how to use the tween feature. So <clears throat> I brought in this file that has 3, 2, 1, launch, and then a rocket. What we're going to do is we're going to try to get the rocket to move, once it says launch to move from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen after it's counted down. So in order to open up our um, animation window, oops, I'm going to go up to window and in the old version it was called animation. In the new version in CC it's called timeline. So I'll open that up and I can see I'm in frame by frame animation. So I can see I have one frame so far and underneath it tells me how many seconds that frame is going to play for. So I can always change that and make it whatever it is that I want to. So essentially what I have to do is I have to create a bunch of frames and then I, based on the visibility of what layers are, I can see, that's how I'm going to determine what is going to play and be seen by the viewer at a given amount period of time. So um, I'm going to duplicate this frame. So I've got my second frame here. So in frame one, so I'm selected on that, I want it to just say three. I'm going to turn off the two, the one in the launch. And then in frame two, I'm going to turn off the three and I'm going to turn on the two. I'm going to make a new frame and there I'm going to turn off the two, turn on the one so I can see I'm counting down three, two, one. And then in my next frame, I want it to say turn off the one and turn on the launch. Okay. I'm going to make a new frame again, and at this point, this is when I'm going to want to start having my um, rocket move to the top of the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rocket, and I'm going to make sure I'm on the rocket layer, and I'm going to physically move it off the frame. Then what I'm going to do, so I see I've got frame 4, it's at the bottom, and frame 5, it's gone. So I'm going to click on this button down here. So this is the tween button. When I click on that, this window op op pops up for me, and I'm deciding whether I want to tween it with the previous frame or the first frame. So I obviously want to do it with the frame right before, so I want to start here and end off the screen. You can choose how many frames that you want it to place in between those two, those two frames, um, and whether you want all layers to be affected, and position, opacity, and any special effects you might have on there. So this is set properly for me right now. So I pressed OK and you can see what happened. I've got my rocket, added the frames in between, and it's giving me the increments of steps of what would happen if it was going all the way off the screen. So if I go back to the beginning and I press play, you can see it works, but I've got to play around with my timing. So right now everything is set to be for 0.5 seconds. So I'm going to go back through and I'm going to change the time how I want them to be. So I think for the countdown I can make that relatively quick. And at launch I want it to hold a little bit longer. I might have it hold for one second there. And then here I want no delay. I want it to actually shoot the rocket as fast as it can um, for the remainder. So it doesn't look so choppy. If you wanted to, it would also help to add more frames in between. So I just picked five, but you could add 10 and then it would be a little less choppy as well. Sometimes you just have to pay attention to the length of it. And you get into file size and so on. Select my background layer here that I so I don't have that box around it. And there we go. Pretty good.